What do you make also still of some of the footage? We talked an awful lot yesterday about the, uh, the anti-Semitism march on, mm. on Sunday, uh, but the reaction of so many on the left, this bizarre sort of coupling up of the sort of Islamist, not mm -hmm. people, not peace loving Muslims in this country, but Islamist ideology and the left. We saw it under Jeremy Corbyn and many of that ilk. Um, but when you've got the likes of Owen Jones, I mean, who would sell his grandmother for a like on Twitter, putting out a video after seeing that um, video, 45 minute video that Israeli government has put together of some of the footage, body cam footage, CCTV footage, other footage of some of the aftermath of the and actual events during that massacre on October the 7th. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the worst stuff in that has been described by numerous, um, numerous, numerous witnesses, but also uh, some of the claims that have been verified by you know, non-governmental organisations, independent mm -hmm. journalists and others, numerous cases. I mean, I can't go into all the detail, but it, some of it is just so beyond your wildest nightmares. But, you know, women being gang raped, rude, I mean, lots, not just one or two, Yes, babies were beheaded, not 40, but sorry, that wasn't enough for people. Um, the, but, but the just horrific mutilation, torture of bodies, of live and dead bodies, the mm. burning of families, the, the, the brutality of this attack and the glee with which it was carried out and the crowing about it. And a lot of these images were put on, put on social media by Hamas themselves. OK, and then Israel have got this video. Now, journalists have been invited to see it. I have chosen not to see it um, because I can't even do fictional gore. I, mm. I just won't sleep for the rest of my life. Um, I'm, I'm, I know another other journalist, a number of them who've seen it, who, you know, I've talked to them about what they've seen. I've read their accounts. I'm willing to trust that. I don't need to see it. You've got the likes of Owen Jones, who's gone to see this video and has basically sat and took notes and said, well, you don't see any beheadings. You don't see any people being raped. You don't see any babies that are dead. So questioning a lot of what the Israeli government and others are doing, but in a way that he doesn't question what Hamas tell him. He's quite happy to parry at anything that, is, that Hamas says, rather than something that's actually had got a lot of external independent verification. What does that tell you? I think it tells us that a lot of people are really morally lost on this issue. I haven't seen this Owen Jones video in particular. I would want to watch it before commenting on him specifically, but I think we could clearly see on social media that there is a tendency amongst the supposedly anti-imperialist left, mm -hmm. which is not to engage in scepticism, fog of war scepticism, claims on all sides, what's the truth and so on. We should obviously verify things that we're being told. That's not what's going on here. This is cynicism bordering on prejudice sometimes, mm. which is to suggest it is worst, it, with the worst cases of this, with the worst kind of um, offenders in terms of this sort of denialism, is to be, they're, of course they're lying, aren't they? Yes. And when you think about the amount of evidence that is being presented so far, how much do they need? Yeah. So there's this footage... Do, do you actually need to be out. there while a woman is gang raped, then shot in the head, to believe it? Or, or how many how many testimonies do you need? There have been so many eyewitness reports, incredible Israeli outlets about things like the rape of women that you've described in terms of the mutilation of children and so on. And the evidence, the pathological the evidence since the bodies have been left. Mm -hmm. And, and the, all of this is a matter of record, people can go out there and find this information. It's become a kind of pics or it didn't happen sort of reflex, mm. which is becoming increasingly grotesque and I think has completely left the realms of healthy but, skepticism. But, but if Hamas say a hospital has been bombed by the Israelis and 500 people are dead, even though it wasn't bombed by the Israelis and it was actually a, a bomb, we, yeah. a, a missile misfired uh, by Hamas and actually only hit the car park. And yes, very sadly, a few dozen people died. Mm -hmm. Very sad, but it's not as sad as 500 dying. But no, no, that's fine. They take that as red. I'm very, very clear. You know, I, I, don't, I don't support everything the Israeli government mm -hmm. does. Um, I'm very concerned about what's happening in Palestine to, to innocent civilians. Um, I also blame Hamas for what's happening to those innocent civilians. Uh, but also, you know, I'll say, you know, we cannot verify that claim. We're not in a position to do that. I, I, I'm very, very clear about that. You should always be skeptical as a journalist, but you're only skeptical of one side. Yeah. I think it tells us something. I really think, I, I think, you know, I agree with you. I'm credulous about the other side. That I think the these people are morally lost. I, I, Owen Jones, I genuinely, we have no relationship, but I have no time for you. You have no time for me. I genuinely think you should seek help. I genuinely think that, that what you are doing and what you are saying is so, so deeply morally repugnant and wrong. Inability to see any other side than the one that you think will get you the most likes on Twitter. I, I genuinely think that, that you are sick.
I genuinely think that you need help. And I think an awful lot of your, your fellow travellers uh, are in exactly the same boat. Anyway, that's just a message from Auntie Julia.